My name is Stella, and I'm here to teach you how to start your own vermiculture bed so that you can turn your smelly food waste into good smelling compost that your garden will love. Here at Food Chef, we like to use Rubbermaid containers for our worm bins. Worms don't like the light, so you'll need a bin that's opaque and won't let the light through. The other important thing is that you need to drill plenty of holes in the lid and along the top side of the bin so that the worms can breathe. For bedding, we like to use wood shavings that we know haven't been chemically treated, as well as coconut fibre, sometimes called coir. We also use sand to provide a bit of grit. We use shredded paper or newspaper that is uninked or bleached and some shredded egg cartons, which would do just fine on their own. You'll need some water. We want our bedding to be moist, but not wet. And lastly, a little bit of developed compost goes a long way to add microorganisms to our brand new worm bin. adding water that worms breathe through their skin, so moisture is essential. Too little water will suffocate them, but too much will drown them and block oxygen. Your bedding shouldn't be dripping with water like this one, but rather be more like a squeezed out sponge. Simply add more carbon materials to dry it out. Now the bedding's ready, it's time to add our worms. We use red wiggler worms for our worm bins. After about a week or so of settling in, you can start feeding your worms once a week. We recommend creating sections of your bin. You can mark them like we have here with a marker. One, two, three, and four. Let's start with section one. Using a small trowel, carefully dig section one from your compost bin. This is where we're going to feed first. Next, take your mushed up food scraps and add it to the bottom of section one. It's important when feeding worms in our compost bin that the food is covered completely to avoid any nasty smells and attracting pests. You can feed your worms in section two the following week, section three the week after that, section four the week after that before returning to section one again. Remember to mark where you fed so you can remember for next time. And that's it, your worm bin is complete. Thanks for joining us.